We're back here again with another tutorial video. The last one got like negative views, but I like doing it. So here we are, we're gonna do it again. So let's go into a photo shoot I did the other day and edit a couple of these photos and show you what I do. Sweet, let's do it. All right, so this is a beautiful Honda Civic hatchback from my girl, Abby. She drove two hours for me to come take these photos. So I gotta show love to her. Here's her Instagram on the screen right now. So we're going to put this at a four by five, put this perfectly in the middle, but just a little more space at the bottom for like Instagram purposes, whenever you take a photo and you put it on there, you want the car just to be a little bit, you don't wanna be in the middle, you wanna be just a little bit lower, kind of using the rule of thirds, like right here, you see I have the headlight pretty much on this line at the bottom. And remember from last time, just toggle O to be able to change all of these settings, right? So we have it right here. I think that looks pretty good. I like where it's sitting at. And as usual, we're gonna bring that exposure up a good bit to where it looks too much and bring that dehaze. Oh, look at the reflections in that black from that dehaze. Oh my goodness, that is clean. So freaking clean. So we're gonna take a radial gradient and we're gonna put it through here. A lot of feather on this. Feather is just this slider right here. The less feather you use, the more harsh of a transition. So you can see like, you can see the line where it stops, but the more feather you use, then it becomes kind of like radial gradient. And it's just, it's a lot nicer in my opinion. So we're gonna bring the contrast there after doing the invert and just make this stuff a little darker on the edges. We're gonna bring the blacks in just a tad bit and also lower the highlights. Look at the difference of the road and the sky me doing the highlights makes. Huge, huge difference. So I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit and let's just look at the before and after so far. That's crazy already. Just dehaze, just exposure, and a little bit of highlights. Absolutely wild. But speaking of highlights, this is a very bright photo right now. Way too bright. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just go ahead and bring those highlights down off of the car. Let's grab the car. Ooh, I don't like that. So it did not do a very good job of choosing what is the car and what's not. So we're gonna come here to add with the brush and we're just gonna paint over here to make sure it grabs it. And then we're also going to press um, subtract also with the brush and we're gonna take things away like this little lamp post up here, this building that got hit all the way back here. I don't know why that got hit, but we're gonna take that out. This little lady back here, uh, cool. All right, so now we're going to bring some contrast in there. We're gonna bring the shadows up for sure. I like that. Drop the blacks. So if you ever notice with all of my editing styles, I like the blacks to be very, uh, very rich. So I always tend to bring the highlights or the exposure or the shadows up and then bring the blacks back down. I just think it does a good job of, of showing those blacks well. So I'm liking this. I'll bring the exposure down just a little bit as well. And then actually just the highlights or the shadows, I mean up just a tiny bit. So I like that a lot. Um, I like that a lot, a lot. I think we can honestly even make the whole image just a tad bit brighter like that. And I think we're chilling so far. I do think the road is a little too light. So we're gonna take a linear gradient and we're gonna bring that up. And you see I'm bringing it up really high like this. If I was to bring the exposure down now, I'd be making the, the car dark as well. So to solve that, we're gonna go ahead and bring it where I want it to be like that. That's how dark I want the road to be. But now we're going to right click on the mask, press intersect mask, and then hit background. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna separate the car. So now, if I bring it really dark, you can still see that the car is fully, fully, fully lit, which is the look that we're looking for. So we're gonna bring it down just about right there. I like that a lot. And then to make it the same, but also bring some more brightness, we're gonna raise those whites up just a little bit and you can see the glow just start to come. So this is something that I really, 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 really like. It's a perfect like base to what you'd want to give someone. Like you could give someone this photo and they would be like, wow, that's a really good photo. I'm going to change it a little bit more, but I just want you to know that like if you were to stop right here, this is a good photo. It's not, you know, it's not gonna go on a magazine cover, but it's very, very, very crisp. And I think someone would be happy to receive something like this. So let me show you what I do to just make it a little bit better. So first and foremost, I want to actually rotate this just a little bit more. I noticed that as I was talking to you guys, um, I like that better. So first thing we're gonna do is I realize that the bottom of the car is mainly dark, but the top of the car is mainly bright. So 
I want to show that same brightness in the trees. So I'm going to bring a linear gradient and I'm going to pull that down this way. And I'm going to one, just bring a little bit of brightness, but I'm also gonna hit the shadows a little bit and just let the sky get a little bit brighter. Not a ton, but just a little bit. You can tell this one's going to stay dark, but I like how all the light is kind of coming through this way. Another thing, just in general, the picture is very green. And I like that because obviously we're like in the forest practically, but I do wanna bring just a little bit of that tint over, just a little bit to where it takes that away a bit. And I also kinda of wanna add a little bit of warmth this way, right? Maybe like right there. All right, another quick thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring a little bit of this contrast down, just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit more smooth. Um, because originally, it, it's still, again, a great photo, but it just looks a little bit too AI, if that makes sense. Like, it looks a little bit too sharp. But like here, I think we're chilling with this a lot. So now we're actually gonna hop into Photoshop and we're going to remove some of these things in the back. So this sign, this person, this lamp, even just like specs like this, that'll really make the photo come together really well. So we're going to right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop 2024. And I usually don't use Photoshop like this. It's mainly whenever I'm dealing with a paying client. That's when I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I think I, I need to I need to show some more love this way. Otherwise, I, you, you'll see that I usually stay away from this stuff. So we have the lasso tool and really simply, we're just going to color around and we're gonna to go to generate a fill and say remove. Love AI so much because back in the day, this would have just been such a pain to do, but all I gotta do is press it, click it, out of here. So wait for this to load and see how it does. I don't actually know how to zoom in on here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, that one is lit. So all of these look really freaking good. Um, I think I'm gonna go with that one just because I genuinely can't tell there was anything ever there. Like these ones I can imagine. Actually, that one looks really good too. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Um, all right, and then we're gonna remove this sign as well. Same exact thing. I'm just gonna go generate to fill and press remove. Yeah, I'm impressed. It's. <laughs> I am impressed. That's nice that it, it can do it that well. Gone, just like that. Let's look at the options. All of those look great. I'm gonna stick with that one. And then we're gonna remove this person as well. I probably could have done those two at the same one, but it is what it is. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Oh, all right. One more, we're gonna take this away. I don't even know what this is. I think it's part of the, uh, like the cars in the background, but we're gonna take that away and then we'll be chilling after that. Absolutely killed it. This picture looks bomb. I don't know what this is. It's like a building, but I wonder what'll happen. I don't think I'm going to actually use this because I, I think this is a little overkill, but I just wanna see what'll happen if I press remove here. Like I wonder what it'll actually do. Like if it'll just make it more woods or, you know, like I have no idea, but I'm, I'm curious to see. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of crazy. Maybe I will use that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Okay, actually, nah, I'm not going to do it just because I feel like that's a little overkill, but um, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with how how it took that away. Cause I can still tell that it just looks a little off. And I think I actually like there being something in the background. It just, it looks a lot more real. So, um, uh, so we're gonna undo that and, and leave that with the rest. So again, that, that's up to you. I mean, if you, if you wanna take that out, you can, but I, I was just impressed that it could even do that. So to save this, we're just gonna press Command S. And then when we, hop back into Lightroom, you'll see that all of that stuff is gone. And I just want you to see the difference between with and without. All right, so here you can see the difference between the two photos. The only difference is I've removed all of these things. And it just, it makes the world of a difference. I mean, just one looks so jumbled up, so cluttered, and the other one looks so clean. So if you need more proof to start using Photoshop, I, I can't help you because this this right here is, is the way for sure. So um, let's go through another one and show you guys what I do. 
So I absolutely loved photos like this when I was doing this. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but like, I think it's the, the highlight from the sky and then the glare of the wheels mixed with like how hazy the, uh, the headlights look. Like just, th this is amazing. This is A1 photo. I love everything about it. So we're gonna bring this to a seven by five and shoot this down just a little bit and put it right there. Just a little bit of, a little bit of move right there that's what i'm looking for that is that's the one so as usual i usually go with the exposure than the dehaze but here's something to think about if the image is already bright you can just start with the dehaze off the bat right so you can go ahead and bring this down and then you can raise your exposure afterwards and oh look at the headlights oh it looks good it looks so 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 good so you can see the ground went from like you not noticing it to now it's like oh we're at the beach practically so we want to fix that but then also the sky kind of went a little bit blue so we want to fix that as well so first things first i'm actually going to expose for the sky and i'm going to bring that uh the warmth just a little bit in there and then i want to use a radial gradient per usual and I'm going to put this out right here I'm going to invert this we're gonna bring some contrast in there and drop those highlights down as well and the shadows all right cool so now we can fix the sky by bringing this down oh lord not that bringing this down um, again whenever I'm dealing with clouds I like to add some haze in there to get rid of stuff I don't want to see and then even the contrast will be good afterwards, right? So check it out. If I bring that contrast back this way, it looks really like Toy Story-ish up there. Um, so we'll bring the highlights down just a tad, even the blacks down just to show some separation. I like how that looks a lot. And then we're gonna bring a linear gradient up as well to get rid of this yellow ground. We're gonna add blue there and we're gonna drop the highlights a lot. Okay, I added way too much blue, like right there maybe. And then we can put those blacks down again. And we're gonna just raise this even higher to, oh gosh, it won't let me raise it higher. Come on. Why can't I click it? Let's just exit out and do it again. Okay, let me grab that. There we go, sheesh. All right, so same thing. We're going to do the intersect mask with background. Coolio. I'm liking this already yo. All right, so I kind of want it to be a little brighter. I want those, um, there we go. Yeah, I want like the reflections here to, to move a lot more. I hate this though. Like, I don't know why it looks like Noah's Ark is about to like bust through the photo, but we're just gonna take a brush and we're gonna tap here and then slide to the right, slide to the left. And we're just gonna bring that saturation down because I, like I said, I hate that. And we're actually probably gonna bring the blacks down too, so you can't really tell that much. But I, I just really don't want there to be a ton of color right there. And some people like that, but I'm not one of them. So, <laughs> so I think it'll be okay if we take that away. And then when we come back and look, we can see how much we actually took out. So let's say I wanted to add a little bit more actually, then I can let some of it seep through. But like, this is crazy, you know what I mean? Like that's wild. But this is like what the middle ground is. And you might say this is too far. So just even come up like something like this. Like I can deal with that much, but what it was before, nah, homie, not for me. So now we're gonna click the subject and we're going to raise these shadows up and those blacks down just a little bit. Um, let that glare really come through. You can see how much reflection we have over here. So I'm actually going to bring the tint up just a tad bit, not a lot, literally like 10 and just take that away a little bit. And from there, honestly, this is looking good. This is looking really, really good. Um, last thing I want to do is I just want to take away these people walking in the background. So again, we're going to open in Photoshop and we're going to lasso them up, try to get it without the wheel and we're going to go remove. Ooh, 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 brother. Ooh. So this is interesting because it did remove the people, but you can see here that we have something. That's not the wheel. I don't know what that is. And that's like a lot, right? So, so far this is the best one, but we're just going to press generate again and see if it does any better of a job the second time. Oh, that's a cool idea with the road going back. 
I hadn't even thought about that, but I actually think that's kind of dope. Um, I'm not going to use it, but I think that's dope. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with this one just because you can kind of be like, oh, that's just reflection coming through and I like reflection. So um, we're going to control save and then we're going to go back to Lightroom. And yeah, that's that's a good photo right there. That's a very good photo. So if we go, I don't know how to look at the before. Yeah, here we go. So here's the before that we had. I guess I should do that same thing again. I can do it this way and show you guys the difference. So here's the after. Yeah, there we go. Here's the after on the left and here's the before on the right. Such a big difference, such a good photo. Bon appetit. Um, let us do one more. I feel like I'm rushing through these, but it's honestly just because I have things to do today. Let's do one of the booty. All right, so here we have this photo, pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm going to make this a 16 by nine because I love me some long photos. Um, so we're gonna go through here and we're just going to raise up the exposure again and bring that dehaze down. Oh yes. Uh, all right, then we're going to lower those highlights and we're gonna bring the shadows up just a little bit, lower the blacks just a little bit. And then first thing I'm gonna do actually on this one is, actually no, we'll do um, radial again just to keep it consistent for you guys. Um, so we'll take this, we'll hit the invert. I should go a little wider on this one just cause that booty's so big. All right, so we're gonna go contrast like crazy lights, highlights, um, blacks down just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna bring the shadows up just a tad. And what's crazy about bringing the blacks and highlights down in the shadows, it almost makes it look like the light is coming from here instead of coming like this way, if that makes sense. So like if you look, like it's almost like lights coming here, lights coming here, and then it's coming through the car. Versus if you do it the opposite way, it's just kind of like, oh, everything is coming one dimensional. So little trip, trick, little trick or trip treat that you can do. Um, so now let's choose the subject and we're gonna raise the exposure up just a little bit. I don't like that at all. Contrast will save it, yes, okay. Um, shadows and blacks. And as you can, if you haven't been able to tell, I pretty much always edit the subject in order to save as many highlights as possible. So I like the glare, I like the shine. I feel like that's what makes a car look cool, like with paint and stuff. So that's how I do it. You don't have to do it that way. It's not gonna hurt my feelings otherwise. So we're gonna raise those shadows up again and then bring the blacks just a tiny bit and i like how everything else is super shiny but like it, it's almost like the car has become separate from the background if that makes sense you know like it's like the, it's almost too shiny you know what i mean so we're gonna actually like undo that a little bit by grabbing this and we're gonna just bring that contrast to the left just just a little bit not a lot but just a little bit maybe even those shadows down a little bit and that's not the biggest difference, but it definitely does make a difference. Um, and then to even make sure even more, we're gonna make this very feathery and very on the outside, and then we're going to invert it. And then from there, we can play with that contrast. And now it looks like it's all together. All right, cool. So how are we going to make this look even better? We're going to get the background and we're going to add some of those whites on here just to make everything super bright. And then some of those blacks as well, like that. I don't know if this is straight actually. The more I look at this, the more it feels crooked. But if I go a little bit this way, much better. All right, so here's the before, here's the after so far. Still a lot of work to do, but let's go into Photoshop once again and we're going to remove all of this random stuff, all of, all of this, all of this chaos that's here for no reason. So first and foremost, this pole is staring me in the face. So we're just gonna like go around, looks like a hangman, and we're just gonna press remove. Poles are the worst, bro. Like, I mean, they're just always in the way for no reason, ugh. This looks pretty freaking good. I'm looking at the grass. That's the big thing that I want to make sure looks good because people aren't going to pay attention to something like right here, but people will notice if the grass looks funky. So I, I think I think that one is the best to be honest. 
Oh, maybe that one. It's definitely between this one and this one. I'm gonna go with that one. I like that. Um, then we're gonna remove this pole over here as well. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to tell you there was something there. Oh, it's so good. Um, all right, then we got Mr. Chad over here. I'll remove that guy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to try to remove this little pole thing right here, this little gap right here. Um, I like the building and the waterfall, honestly, all that. Um, dang, buddy got deleted from existence. Oh my goodness. All right, so just this little pole right here. That's all I want to take away. Um, and then, like I said, if we can get that gap done, I wonder how well it could remove all of this and replace with grass. I'd be very impressed if you could do that well. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna try that. What? I guess that's better than the last one. Um, I don't know what this thing is, but it's gotta go. And then, like I said, we're gonna try to see what this looks like over here. Because even this, I might just leave that. It looks a little real over there, so I think I'll leave that. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. So if I, if I grab all of this, and I say, what, replace with grass? Oh, I spelled replace wrong. Replace with grass. I, it's either gonna be really good or really bad, bro, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. I feel like it could be really freaking cool, actually, if it, if it does it well. You know, the grass looks good. It's the... It's the bottom part that looks bad. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, this, this might be a me thing. Um, let's delete this one. I don't even see, I don't know how to do that. How do I, how do I delete? This is how bad I am at Photoshop. I just know how to use generate to fill. I don't know how to actually do stuff. Delete layer, all right, cool. So what if I grab this from like right here? Oh yeah. You saw that line? That line was crazy. And I press replace with grass right there. So I just cannot spell replace with grass. Let's see what happens when it's like this one. <laughs> Yo, that is not bad. I just want to see what else we'll come up with, but that is not bad at all, bro. Like, obviously, you know, we can see the roots right here, but like, that looks really freaking close, dude. Really freaking close. What? Nah, this one is crazy. The shadows from the tree too? All right, yeah, we're using that, bro. That's crazy. That is absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. And like, honestly, I'm pushing the limits right here. Like you could say that this is like too much. Like I'm changing the actual image and I, I wouldn't even disagree with you. I think you're right. Like, I think this is a lot, um, but like, man, like you, you can't tell me you're not impressed. And this is honestly almost perfectly in the middle. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, let me show you all the before and after because this is crazy, yo. This is absolutely crazy. So this is, huh? So this is, this is the original. And this is the new one. Yeah, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. That's like scary crazy, to be honest. <laughs> like that is absolutely wild. There's little details like this. I don't know what's going on with this. It's, it's like glitching right now, but there's little details that you can add to make something much better. And it's just up to you to find what those are and then do what you wish with them. So just know that there's always options to make it better, to improve it however you'd want to, and it's all up to you. So don't get like stressed or watch me and be like, I have to do it this way. This is the only way. I said it before on the last one, I don't know anyone who edits the way that I do. They all use different methods and this is just what I do because I found that this works best for me. You might hate it. You might realize that Dehaze does a lot of stuff that you actually don't like. You might realize that the best way to show blacks in your image isn't actually by raising the exposure and bringing the blacks down. You know, like you just find your own way. That's all I'm trying to say. Just find your own way and you'll be fine. So 
But yeah, that's it. Hope you liked it. Hope it was helpful. If it was, man, just show some love. Like I said, the last one literally, I think it is at like 200 views as of today. <laughs> so just go um, hit the like button, share it if you liked it. Show me some love in the comments, subscribe, whatever you want to do. So love you guys. See y'all in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>